Friday. So today's day one. We're going to take it back to the square roots here a little bit and build this thing. Let's have a lot of intensity, a lot of flying around, a lot of focus, and we'll make this a very, very productive. Let's go, y'all. Great start, buddy. Great start. Yeah, very exciting. You know, um, we were in our staff meeting early this morning, and, you know, you just, it wasn't quite that same feeling in the air. Of course, it's been that way the last few years with all the practices we can have over the summer. But, but then about a half an hour before we got started, I think it hit us like, you know, uh, a big, uh, I don't want to say epidemic plague. I mean, it hit us hard. Like, it's here. There was excitement in the air. Uh, all, the, all the hard work and all the other things that we've gone through the last three weeks in the transition or three months, you know, over. Basketball's here finally. So uh, the coaches were fired up as we hit the court, and I think the players saw that, fed off of it, and it was a productive day, but it was day one. It's always very, very exciting to begin the new year, you know. Maybe you're coming off of some great success and you want to kind of get back to it, but yet keep everybody's feet on the ground. Or maybe you're coming off a disappointing year and you want to put that behind you and learn from it. Um, so the fact that we're in transition here, uh, new staff, some new players, um, it was exciting to just kind of hit the floor in earnest as we start to build this thing. So um, all first practices are great. That means the season's underway. So um, as far as ranking them, that'd be hard to do. But I know we're excited to be here. Uh, we're excited with the challenge at hand, and uh, we're really excited about the people that we have around us and with us um, to, to move forward with. You have nine guys practicing. Have you ever had a first practice or any practice where you have nine guys? There's been some, you know, where maybe you've got you know, the flu bug or some injuries in the middle of the season. You might be down to that amount, but never to start the season. And I think that was a little bit of the apprehension going into today was we didn't have a full complement of 14-15. But the guys that were out were really working hard. Um, we've got to get creative as a staff. Um, you know, we can't go five on five right now. I tried doing that last week and pulled a hammy. So. You know, we'll have to make do until we have our tryouts and we add some folks uh, to the roster. But the guys that are here are going hard and uh, we're a long ways away, like I mentioned. But uh, it was a really good effort and a great feel uh, as we wrapped up day one. Uh, can you give us an update on Chai Baker and the two players you said that? Yeah, Chai, is just, he's continuing to get evaluated. Um, they're waiting on some, some test results back uh, that take, I guess, up to four to six weeks, uh, the blood work and that sort of thing. So he's hanging in. He's... You know, uh, right now all he can do is stand still and shoot. Um, and I think later uh, this week he's going to kind of get word from some of the doctors of what the plan is. And what about Alex Roth? Yeah, we thought we were going to have him uh, out all season long, but he's got some really encouraging news on his shoulder the last uh, week. And so uh, we've even been told he might be able to start doing some light practice uh, in the next couple of weeks. So that would be a real bonus, uh, you know, if a month from now he was on the court 100% because we, we weren't counting on him this year uh, with the injury. But it looks like he's going to be joining us before too long. So that, that has us fired up. And Justin Stanley, you have some news to, to about yeah, Justin excited. Stanley. You know, Justin, we've tried to sell to these guys as you earn what you get and you get what you earn. And um, he had a really productive summer. He paid for summer school so that he could come down and get involved in our workouts. He really improved. And we've got some scholarships that are sitting there this year uh, before we put them into use in the 2015 class. So we awarded him with the scholarship for this season. Um, we felt he really earned it. Um, when we announced it to the team a couple of weeks ago, uh, everybody was fired up because they know how hard he's worked. Uh, and I thought it was a, a real key moment for our team to share a little bit of celebration and something that one of our guys earned. And so uh, we know the, you know, his family, his dad played here. And, and so uh, I think it sends a good message about working hard and, and you know, kind of reaping the rewards from that. And uh, we're excited to have him here. And he's going to figure into things in this year. Uh, you mentioned eating bodies. Saturday, you're having walk-on trials. Just talk about what you hope to see on that day and what you're hoping you're to have in the team. Well, we hope to find five or six really good players. Um, we have no idea how many are going to show up. Um, we do have some ho hoops for them to jump through as far as, um, you, know, you know, academic eligibility, um, physicals, proof of those sort of things. Um, you know, and, and a couple of guys have already come to us that are here and enrolled, but they might be in their senior year. Uh, but they don't have enough credits to qualify those percentages towards degree. Um, so we got to get through all those things. But hopefully we identify at least four to five guys that are not just going to be practice players, but guys that can push our players day in and day out. And I wouldn't be surprised if two or three of them didn't see some sort of consistent playing time throughout the year. And then finally, um, do, you, do you and your staff put together goals that you hope to accomplish? 
accomplish the first week, the second week, or do you just kind of just go big game? Normally, yes, we, we do. We've got a progression. Um, you know, we, we kind of forecast when we're going to put certain things in. Um, with this team and this year, um, as an example, we eliminated the last two things on our practice plan because we took so long going through some of our defensive principles, probably three times the amount of time we had allotted. Uh, and you can't move forward until you get some of those basic things down. So we're going to have to adjust accordingly. And I think this year, the fact that we've only got nine guys right now, that we've got such a long way to go, we're really going to have to take baby steps. So um, we've got enough uh, experience on the staff that we'll be able to read that um, and handle it uh, the right way. But right now, it's kind of slow and steady is the pace, and uh, we'll build from there.